So I saw this the other day. This is uh, a post from Flamingo Land Resort on a f their Facebook page, and they are basically announcing their new roller coaster that's going up next year, um, which is a ten looper, uh, ten spine tingling inversions, reaching heights of thirty four meters. 840 meters of pure adrenaline coming in 2020 we're busy creating more fun and magic excuse the noise and inconvenience it'll be worth the wait so i thought that was quite interesting because um uh, basically for us in the uk this is quite funny this is a kind of a copy of colossus um which is uh based at thorpe park um and also an intamin 10 looper coaster and um, this is just kind of the same roller coaster. Um, it's I think it's a little bit different. I've read some reports about the top of the lift hill being a little bit different going into the big loop, and then before you hit the actual cobra roll, and you go over a couple of airtime hills, and then you come back, you go through two uh, corkscrews. And then on the way back from there, you get uh, this whole multitude of barrel rolls. Uh, and there's quite a bit of hang time in there, if you've ever been on Colossus. Um, I rode it last week again. Um, the first time I rode it was a couple of months ago at Thorpe Park. Um, last week, I rode it uh, towards the back, somewhere in the middle of the back. And yeah, it's pretty rough with those restraints around your head. So you really bash all over the place. It's not comfortable. The trains are just... Yeah, the trains are not comfortable at all. The seating is very, um, yeah, kind of not very much space. Um, I'm trying to compare it to like the likes of Goliath. I think Goliath is a much better train, but of course, uh, Goliath and Wallaby Holland, you you only have a lap bar, so it's a yeah, it's a much better train. Um, of course, Goliath at Wallaby Holland doesn't uh, have an inversion at all. Um, just this uh, kind of crazy uh, dive sting all um, uh, hell and things like that. So it's, uh, yeah, it's quite extreme as well, but it's not, uh, no inversions at all. So that's always the reason why at Colossus Thorpe Park, we've got those uh, res overhead restraints because of all those inversions. But I've read some reports that this one at Flamingo Lands will hopefully have a better train and maybe just lap bars or improved lap bars um, um, over Goliath. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, What's interesting is that Flamingo Land will, once this roller coaster is complete, have 10 roller coasters. And that's the same amount as um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach and Alton Towers. So they'll all have 10 coasters. Of course, the ones aren't, they're kind of different because the ones at uh, um, Alton Towers are quite themed. Uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, doesn't have as much theming, but it does have an advantage that it has a lot of variation between those coasters. It's got more wooden coasters. Um, Flamingo Land, although I've never been out there, uh, it's all steel, so that's kind of you know, mental. And there's uh, uh, quite a few kiddie coasters, family coasters uh, amongst their uh, lineup. Having said that, they don't have a proper sit down long train coaster, so this definitely fits in with their portfolio, I think. Um, I've been on booster bike at uh, Toverlands, and, and Velocity is kind of the same. It's going to be positioned next to Velocity, I believe, uh, which is where uh, the old Corkscrew uh, coaster used to be. Um, I'm going to see pictures of that. Uh, never got to ride that, like I said, I've never been to Flamingo Land, but uh, yeah, it's a classic, and it's kind of surprising I read of that. Um, and that space was obviously empty, and now they have decided to uh, get this um, Intamin 10 inversion coaster, which they got, uh, a lot of people have been talking about this, they got this uh, for a good price, because this was actually built in 2011 for a park in Brazil, Hopi Hari, and it was never actually erected there. If you go onto their page, you can't actually see um, on the RCDB, you can't actually see the um, roller coaster picture. So when it's all in parts, this is how coasters get delivered to um, theme parks. And um, yeah, it's quite interesting because this track is completely red, which is of course different than uh, Colossus, which is white, it's a Thorpe Park, so white greyish. It's uh, it doesn't look that great these days, but uh, uh, this this is a nice color scheme, I think. Um, whether or not it's going to be that color, I don't know. And the sort of banners that went up just yesterday at Flamingo Land, it's uh, sort of blue. That's, of course, a little bit nicer, but um, who knows? We'll see what uh, the color is when this uh, gets erected over uh, the winter months. Um, 
and then I'll be ready for next season. I, I assume or it'll open early on in the season. I would have thought April, May maybe. Uh, but we'll see when it's going to be ready. I'll definitely make my way out to that park and uh, be interesting to ride it. I really hope it's going to have better trains, better restraints. And uh, there might just be a much uh, better version of this uh, coaster. Of course, you can see here 10 inversions uh, Rev B. And that is not the same as uh, um, Colossus. It's not in this list. It's a slightly updated version of that um, roller coaster. So if you see uh, version A, I think is the one at Thorpe Park. Yeah, Colossus. There you go. Um, it looks completely different on this uh, rendition. Well, actually, it's not a rendition. It's just a kind of altered image <laughs> but yeah you can see it's very rusty looking there um so yeah kind of white isn't it white with it's kind of you know, white supports blue bluish uh, so aqua blue track yeah i forgot all about that it was more white than that these days but uh yeah i mean it's i, I like the coaster I, I don't mind it too much uh when i was riding it at the front i didn't think it was too bad with the overhead restraints but so uh, yeah as soon as you go further back on the train it's um yeah it's very rough going through all those uh inversions i really like this airtime hill that you can see here that's just so cool um, now I think that's when you come out of the uh, big loop and then you go through there you go through the cobra roll uh, and there's kind of a I don't I can't remember if there's another little airtime hill maybe not you just probably start head straight I thought it was but you head straight into that um, corkscrew coming back and there's two of those and then you return through uh, on the coaster with all those barrel rolls it's it's a nice track I mean I, I don't I think it's a nice design but it's just you know it's kind of unbearable at the moment. So it'll be uh, really interesting to see if the uh, one at um, Flamingo Land will be an improvement over uh, what we've got at Thorpe Park. And if it is, you know, will Thorpe Park react to that? Will they maybe order some new trains or uh, they're just not going to care? <laughs> um, anyway, another reason to get out to Flamingo Land next year. Uh, it's not so exciting what's happening next year maybe but there's a couple of new coasters going up in the uk so we've got that and of course a brand new um coaster that's a gonna it's gonna be a custom design one for polton's park which is uh, another max spinner um i really enjoyed the one at toverland so that will be uh, definitely interesting to get out to next year as well uh, once that's complete so a couple new coaster credits uh to look out for in the uk in 2020 let me know your thoughts are you excited about this uh, have you been to flamingo land do you think this is a good addition to their portfolio i personally uh given the sort of nature of this park it's all sort of centered around um their zoo isn't it that they've got on site I would have liked to have seen maybe a wooden coaster. I think um, it all seems, a, to me, I've seen a lot of videos. I've never been there, like I said. Um, it all seems a little bit concretey and steel at the moment. So a wooden one might have just been something they could have you know, needed. But who knows? I mean, it's going to be interesting to see anyway when we've got those three parks with their 10 coasters now uh, next year. Um, who's going to be the first one that's going to build number 11? Is there going to be a park that's going to build 11 coasters in the UK? Um, it's probably going to be Alton Towers, as some people have said. So uh, I, would have thought, uh, I would have thought those are the ones that have got the most money and the most visitors in the UK for sure. Um, although I think Blackpool Pleasure Beach might get more visitors, but they don't get as much money. So... Um, um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see um, um, what's going to happen after that. But in the meantime, we've got a couple of new things to look out for in 2020. So let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.